You're not going to believe this, but people have actually been finding Pokemon cards at Food Lion. Let's go see if we can find some as well. Now, when we found Pokemon cards before at a grocery store, I believe it was Publix, they were actually on one of these hangers right here. So I guess we'll just have to walk up and down the aisles and see if we can find them there. freaking way and look what it is and look at that they're only $3.99 that's crazy no way guys I never thought I would see the day that we would find evolving skies at Food Lion now, by the way, I think I heard that you can also find them at Kroger. Now, we don't have Kroger in this area, but that's another great place you should definitely check. And again, they were for a really great deal, $3.99 for an Evolving Skies pack. Can't beat that. Let's go back over and open these up. Well, guys, pretty much the best grocery run ever. Make sure you check out your local Food Lion or Kroger, or you may be able to find Evolving Skies packs even at some other local grocery store in your area. Make sure you let us know in the comments below where you end up finding them so other people can find it as well. But if it's your first time here, my name is Luke, and after 20 years, I got back into collecting Pokemon cards to chase that feeling of nostalgia from my childhood. So I invite you to come along the collecting journey with me by hitting that subscribe button below. All right, guys, well, we have have our Food Lion groceries here. Super excited to open up some Evolving Skies and see if we can pull that Moombreon. Now first, before we get into our opening, I actually recently uh, went to a local trade day and uh, picked up some cool things that I just wanted to show you guys real fast here. First of all, we got a little Gengar card here. I'm not sure if this is a hollow or a non-hollow. Yeah, this one is indeed a hollow, so a very cool one. Uh, not terribly expensive I don't believe but just one I had to have actually none of these are that uh, pricey but um, I ended up trading kind of some slightly bigger cards you know from in like the 10 to $30 range for several cards at a time so here we have Blastoise V this is a card I actually need for a deck that I've been building for the longest time this the deck's probably gonna go out of rotation before I ended up end up completing it but we'll see what happens Got a really cool Mewtwo Hollow. Looks like just a Black Star promo from the Sun and Moon era. We got Benet GX. This one's pretty cool. I am eventually going to complete a Hidden Fates Master Set. So I saw that and picked it up. Now this one's really cool. This one is one that I had the actually non-hollow one of this, and I've never seen this card before. I didn't even know what it was from. It turns out it's actually a McDonald's promo. And of course, since Dragonite is my favorite Pokemon, even the uh, the pre-evolutions of him, I definitely want to have some cool cards in my collection. So there's that. We're also trying to complete a XY Evolutions Master Set, so I picked up some break cards that we needed. Now. I didn't really take the time to look at the condition of these. I probably should have. I was just trading with some kids for some of these, so I wasn't trying to be too much of a stickler in the trades. So I may still need to pick these up, actually, because these ones are looking kind of rough. Light play, maybe mod play for the Nido King, but that's okay. That's fine. Now, this is an interesting one because actually, um, we recently opened up one of the Crobat VMAX boxes for the Shining Fates set. The recent one actually has a completely different version of this card with different texture on it. So I wanted to get the original one with the nice sparkly texture on it. So that one came up available. Got this nice Suicune card. I don't really have hardly any Suicunes in my binder yet. So I figured we'd pick that up. Has a nice swirl on the side there. Looks like we have some trainer gallery stuff uh, that I hadn't pulled so far. Jinx, of course. I actually do really like this one. Jinx is definitely one of the, not the most popular Pokemon in the Kanto region, but I will say I do like this one. It almost looks like Elastigirl is Jinx's trainer. Anyway, Flaffy as well. I do like the Ampharos evolution line, believe it or not. I had pulled this one in VMAX Climax, but when there is an English version, I generally try to collect those in most cases. All right, next up. I definitely want to take a good look at this one because I had never pulled this one either. It's not expensive at all, but 
I figured this would be a good time to pick one up through a trade. This one is just incredible. I love the Radiant Alakazam. That's really, really cool. I mean, I could stare at this one for a long time. Similarly, I had never pulled Radiant Steelix. Let's check him out real quick. And it's definitely really cool that it's like a gold version of him. That's definitely one of the cooler shinies out there. Part of me just thinks they need to make all the shinies gold, but that's just me. Okay, got a few left here. We got a Detective Pikachu promo card. I believe this one is also a hollow. It's hard to tell in these matte sleeves. That's why I don't really like them generally, but I just stuck them in there momentarily. So yeah, kind of a cool card. Just, you know, I don't have any Detective Pikachu cards at all in my collection. And so figured I would go ahead and grab that as well. I believe that's just the promo one. There's probably an additional one in the set. And we actually picked up a few Celebrations cards. This is one of the random cards that I have literally never pulled from Celebrations. I just can't believe that. I've pulled like Blastoise like maybe like five, six times, Venusaur, same. Um, but I've never pulled Imposter, Professor Oak. It's so weird. And another one I've never pulled, which is a little more understandable, is Shining Magikarp. This is a really sweet one. Obviously a reprint of a really iconic card from the Neo sets and I just love it. And last but not least, Definitely a really cool card here. Shining Ho-Oh, the promo that came in the um, Shining Legends Elite Trainer Box. And uh, I actually had picked up one of these from TCG Player, but it actually was damaged. So I had to send it back. This one's looking really good, great. And the centering is actually really nice on this one as well. But anyway, guys, enough about that. Thanks for humoring me for that. I just thought I would show you some of my pickups. Nothing crazy in there, but several cards that I really like and ones that I've been wanting to pick up. So without further ado, guys, we are gonna go hunting for the Moombreon. Is that Moombreon in Food Lion? We will find out today. And uh, I will, will let you know that I actually did pick up pretty much all of the packs that were in there. I had kind of looked at my budget and saw that I could afford to get 10 of them right now. And uh, it turns out that's exactly how many they had. <laughs> so uh, sorry, but at the same time, I'm not gonna lie, that's a pretty ghetto food lion. A lot of them tend to be. And uh, they were more likely to be stolen rather than actually purchased, so. Anyway, Fletchling, and we got Sharpedo, non-hollow rare. All right, no first pack magic. Still got a lot left to go here though. I really was shocked. I had heard that um, people were finding Pokemon cards at Food Line. I did not expect to find it on the first one though. There, we definitely have several in our area, so I thought I was gonna have to go to another store afterwards at least, but right away. Our first little hunt here. All right, here we go. Chinchu, Litleo, Swablu. Oh, I see something peeking back there. Ooh, what could this be? Oh, man. Okay, okay, okay. It's a Gyarados VMAX. Wow, it kind of slid out there. I thought it was going to be an alt art. That's still a pretty cool VMAX, though, and one that I have never actually pulled. I don't think I've ever pulled any of the Gyarados from this set, strangely enough. Man, my heart was like skipping a beat. I really thought I saw an alt art back there. But you often get faked out by the full arts and the VMAXs with how they look. But let's keep things rolling. Fighting energy, copycat, scroll of the flying dragon. dragon. Yeah, not dragon, Burk might. Sableye, Applin, Cutie Fly, Sableye, and Altaria. Come on. One, two, three, four. There we go. All right. Another fighting. Lantern. Treasure Energy. Digging Gloves. Tim Pole. Hippo, President of the United States. Scraggy. Fletchling, Gassefleur, Gorgeist. So I do see something peeking back behind this one. Are we going to get faked out yet again? Whew, we have a 
Oh, not bad at all. We'll take that. Glaceon. VMAX Rainbow Rare. Nice. Okay. Not bad at all. That's a pretty cool one. I do actually like the the Rainbow Evolutions in this set. So we will take it. Well, guys, we are only about halfway through. We still have several packs left here. So still have a chance of pulling an alt art as well. But before we do, let's go ahead and open up some mail from Whatnot. Whatnot is the app featuring live stream auctions where you can bid on Pokemon cards and often get some pretty great deals. Make sure you use my link in the description below and you'll get a $10 credit towards your purchase on Whatnot. Now shout out to DS Collectibles because I've purchased from him multiple times. I do really enjoy his stream. So if you go check out Whatnot, tell him I sent you. I think he'll appreciate that. We just got one card in this lot here, so I think it's gonna be a cool one. Okay, judging by the back, not really the best centering. Yeah, definitely top heavy and left heavy, but no whitening from what I can tell. We have, ooh, look at that. So we do have an altar today, guys, from our whatnot package today, the unknown V. Which, to be honest, guys, this, I don't know, this one is so close to possibly being my favorite card in, uh, in Not Lost Origin, in, uh, in Silver Tempest, right? Yeah, I mean, the Lugia is pretty incredible, but, I don't know, I just love this one. This one's so cool, and so, uh, when it came up, I just had to pick it up. Again, not the best centering. I don't know, maybe I would eventually pick up one with better centering if I could find one, but I'm just glad to own this unknown it's got kind of like a jungle um, little lost ruins sort of vibe to it yeah I definitely love this one all right guys well like I said we are only halfway there still got several packs left you just never know <laughs> Starting with the darkness. Ooh, could that be a sign for the Moonbrion? Ursaring, Crystal Cave, Zerua, Mareep, Teddy Ursa, Sableye, Lotad, Boldor, and Smeargle. Boom. Starting with some water. Boost Shake, Ribbon B, Avalug, Teddy Ursa, Dano, Petalil, Chinchu, Fletchling. Oh, slid into it again. Wow, something with these VMAXs. They must be a little bit wider cut than the regular ones, but always a cool one. We pulled that one several times, but I do love Espeon. Definitely one of the few good VMAXs out there. I have to say, definitely getting some solid hits so far today. So next time your wife or significant other says, hey, I need some more milk or I need some more eggs, you can go ahead and volunteer, go hit up Food Lion, and you know, while you're at it, look for some Pokemon cards. Cutie Fly and Hollow Jump Bluff. I feel like we've actually had some solid luck with our just uh, sleeved boosters for Evolving Skies. Probably even better than we've had with our ETBs and po possibly even our booster boxes. I feel like, yeah, we pulled our, we pulled the um, the Glaceon alt art not too long ago from the sleeve boosters. And we also pulled the Rayquaza VMAX alternate art from a bunch of sleeve boosters that I got from the Pokemon Center website. I don't know guys, they may be a better pickup even than any of the other stuff, but I don't know. Let me know what your guys' experience has been. Scroll of the Flying Dragon Reverse and Zoror Zoroark Hollow. I don't know why I always have pro trouble pronouncing that one. A 
moving right along our second to last pack for today definitely can't complain with what we've gotten so far so we shall see rufflet milotic Milotic, and lilligant non-hollow rare all right well last pack let's get that last pack magic you know it, it doesn't have to be the moon it could be the dragon eye altar it could be uh rayquaza v it could be the uh the sylveon I, i'm not that picky guys whatever whatever we want to see here it's fine with me all right here we go oh there we go let's pull the fire on our last pack dream ball zinnia's resolve hippodon hippo president of the united states scraggy Fletchling, Gossifler, Carvana.com, not sponsored yet. If you want to sponsor me, let me know. And guys, we are ending off today's opening with a Thievel non hollow rare. But make sure you check out one of the videos here on screen if you like Pokemon card hunts and openings. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe below to support the channel. I'd really appreciate it. And lastly, I want to let you know that no matter what you're going through, you are not alone. God is with you and he loves you and we do too. I'll catch you guys next time.